This is coming out next week. For, for people listening, today's November 19th. The Rittenhouse um, verdict was read today. And uh, surprisingly, no riots, right? No riots yet? Like, well, it's early. A, it's early. Yeah. Uh, and B, it's a bummer. It's not a good call to to make that call, make that verdict release on Friday afternoon. Because right. now you got a bunch of people sitting around on the weekend going, what are we going to do? I think, to their credit, there have been a lot of left-wing people that have actually read the transcripts and actually paid attention to the true story instead of just the media narrative. And there's a lot of people like Anna Kasparian and Glenn Greenwald's been on top of it from the beginning, but a lot of people have gotten the word out that the version of the story that most people are just spouting out, the headline version, without reading this, the, the actual meat of the story itself, is not accurate mm -hmm. at all. His kid's not a white supremacist by any stretch of the imagination. He was kind of playing cop kind mm -hmm. of playing EMT and he was going he was fucking 17 mm -hmm. going there and he did apparently provide aid and help a bunch of people and at multiple occasions was chased and pulled the rifle out and when they retreated he didn't shoot it was only when he was attacked he was hit with a skateboard someone pulled a gun on him that's when he shot people I mean it was all very reasonable maybe not reasonable that a 17 year old <laughs> shows up with a fucking gun to riots <clears throat> but in his mind, this is where his family's from, and apparently he wanted to help. But their version of it that they were selling to the media, and the fucking president said it, mm -hmm. that he's a white supremacist. Jen Psaki recently said the president does not condone vigilantism. That kid was in no way, shape, or form a vigilante. He was not a vigilante. He was armed, but he was protecting himself. Mm -hmm. And it turned out that, that actually ne he needed it. They actually chased him down. Whether they chased him down because he had a gun, I don't fucking know. But they definitely were fucking chasing him. They definitely hit him with a skateboard. They definitely knocked him to the ground. So maybe enough of the actual story got out where it doesn't seem like a thing to riot for. Because a lot of people also thought he shot black people. Mm -hmm. They thought he went down there. When people found out it was white people, and then when they found out it was fucking pedophiles, that this guy was a straight up, one of the guys he shot, straight up fucking pedophile. Child rapist. Just a terrible person. The other guy, rap sheet. Big old rap sheet. One guy, a bunch of his fucking shit was exonerated six days before the trial. Like, what are you doing? So maybe all that information got out to the point where people are like, hey, guys, this is not the hill to die on. This ain't the one. I certainly like your positive attitude about this. I was I was actually <laughs> checking out Twitter before I rolled in here, and there are people that are going completely insane right now, and the the... The narrative that you just put out, they don't they didn't hear any of it. They only heard the other narrative, which is that this guy, you know, what what's the law? There's certain there's certain parts of the line here. You know, this guy was had an illegal gun, traveled across state lines, and shot and murdered two people who were there to protect and support Black Lives. That that's yeah. that's what. That's what a lot of people are saying right now. Yeah, so I would love it if Joe Rogan is right right now and that people are going hey You know what? Let's let's get a little bit more nuanced. Let's study this and Here's the thing though those people on Twitter. How many of those people are real people? How many of those fucking people aren't trolls? Look a lot of them might be trolls a lot of them are trolls Okay, a lot of them are trolls But there's also real people in there yeah. and there's people uh -huh. that get swayed by this yep. stuff and and yep. when you you know look Don't you talk to some people sometimes? that you realize they are watching a different movie than you a hundred percent and and it's almost like you're the crazy one. Oh, you, yeah. you're sitting there going like everything you just rattled off yeah. about kyle rittenhouse th there are people that i know and probably people that you know too that are absolutely think everything you just said is the most insane right-wing alt-right freaking load of white power propaganda that they've ever heard in their life. I have to meet with some tonight. <laughs> I think I think my wife's friends yeah. tonight when I'm after after I leave here, I'm going to have to have drinks with my wife and her friends and I have a feeling that I'm going to have to go, "Well, that's not real." And this is actually I'm happy to show my phone a bunch of times, yeah. pass it around, and and they're going to look at you. <laughs> like here here's what sucks about social media too is the chances of you uh, the chance of you convincing maybe some of your wife's friends tonight, maybe you have an okay chance of maybe a little bit, depending on how dug in they are. The chances of someone 
on social media convincing someone else that that oh you know what I see your point thanks for pointing that out to almost me zero. it's almost zero <laughs> it's almost zero is anybody ever fucking say oh you're right yeah. no, on social it, media it never happens yeah point no, no one even says that no, no one ever says you know what good call yeah. I actually I see what you're I see where you're coming from yeah no one says 